Hello everybody and welcome back to Europa where the Ottomans just broke their alliance with us. We have a truce with them for five years, I think. That's how that usually works. Yeah, five years. Okay, so that's absolutely fine. I did notice that Arabia is willing to be diplo-vassalized. So I'm going to offer Arabia an alliance right now. And who are we improving relations with right now? Okay. That's currently in Armenia. I'm going to pull back from there for the moment. We're going to have a bit of a shortage of diplomats here, but we definitely need to be doing annexations, right? We have a lot of vassals, and we need to be working on getting rid of some of those. So, especially if we're going to be getting another one with Arabia over here. So, we need, at this point, to start annexing, like, Ardalan, I think we can do. Yeah, we can, we can annex Ardalan. We can't yet annex any of these. And I'm sure we can't annex Armenia. Yeah, that's definitely not going to be a thing. But we can start annexation of Ardalan. That means that we only have the one diplomat, right? So our diplomat's going to be back shortly. And we just had Separatists raise up over here. That's very rude of them, but we're just going to hop on over. No problem. Very, very rude indeed. Well, we gained 25 prestige. That maxed out our prestige again. That's not bad. We'll definitely take that. Royal marriage offer from Fars. We accept that. As I said, hang on, when are we going to arrive here? 6th January? Should be okay. That's after the month check. Cool. They did manage to take that over, sadly. And our royal marriage with Saran has ended. That's absolutely fine as well. So we're just going to get that taken all back. That's fine. Gain 60 diplomatic power. And the Ottomans' opinion of us would come up. Or we get to mercantilism. Honestly, the diplo power and Ottoman opinion will be better. I mean, the Ottomans are very angry at us now, but we don't actually care. We've taken over a huge chunk of the Ottomans' power, and they've lost a lot of power up over this way as well, and over this way. I didn't notice Crimea before, but Crimea is absolutely a place that exists. Okay, noted. So we're going to head on back over to Calm. That'll be fine. Are all of our units actually drilling? These guys are not. Get drilling. Thank you. And we can seize land. We probably should. Yes, so we're going to seize... 5% more crownland. Looks good. No problem whatsoever there. So at this point, we do need to decide when we're going to fight Syria and how exactly that's going to go for us. So I'm thinking about it, and I'm thinking maybe we just give territory to Iraq or Arabia. Probably Arabia. That would, of course, mean that we need Arabia to be vassalized before we fight Syria, in that case. And that's probably fine, all things considered. So we're going to have these guys up here. We're going to enable drilling. That's fine. Ottomans have canceled their military access. That's probably for the best. We have too many diplomatic relations. We no longer have any with the Ottomans, and that is looking good. So our current overall size is looking at being 53. Gotcha. So we're now taking attrition down over here, and we need to take a look at where we can stand in this area. Can we stand up over here? Yes, we can, without taking attrition. So that's exactly where we're going to go. These guys should be drilling, and they are. That all looks good. Armenian particularists? Can Armenia handle that? It's only 2k. Surely they can. Ming wants military access. Oh. Ming is teeny tiny. Okay. Okay. And being heavily de de destroyed by Shun, Shu, Wu, and, and Qi. Okay. Well, that is uh, spicy. No doubt about that. I don't care about you, Ming. Get out of here. We can sell titles. We're not going to do that. We can use... Actually, this is not a bad thing right now. We don't necessarily need manpower. We're doing okay on the manpower front. Let's get efficient tax farming and harvest in some resources here. I do want to continue to build here. So we could look at workshops. There aren't really any good ones. Great mosques. There aren't hugely great ones. There's some decent ones there. But I think we just continue to pump out the manufactories for right now. That looks absolutely fine. How are we doing on these cores? We can't yet core those. Okay. Where are the Armenian troops right now? This is Iraq here. Where are your armies, Armenia? We know that you have 8,000 soldiers. Where are they? Here. Why Why are you chilling in Mara? I guess they're stuck there? 
They must be stuck there, uh, waiting for their naval forces to arrive down here to pull them out. Presumably. We don't have a navy. And we honestly haven't needed one thus far. It's completely fine. We don't actually care. So we are annexing two locations right now. We're at minus five monthly diplomatic power, and that is fully understood. We did just core a province. Does that allow us to start up these other cores? Yes, we can start one of them. The other we don't have the admin power for just yet. Okay, so that seems fine. Now, as far as Arabia goes, we're going to need to get opinion over here, right? And because we only have one diplomat, that means that we're basically fully focused on Arabia because our other two diplomats are annexing. That said, Ardalan is going to be done a lot more quickly than Fars is. So that's definitely noted. That's going to be finished up quite soon. We have a harvest failure and minus 50% local goods produced modifier over there. That's absolutely fine. And we do have some additional separatists looking to brew up here. The Karabaki separatists, they're going to be up over here. We could move up that way pre preemptively. They're going to spawn very soon, so we might want to get going. We'll head up there. Looks solid. We do have additional forces being recruited over here, of course. And they're just going to get moved on in. Looks great. Ah, we can definitely set an agenda. What do we got? Hmm, base tax and Samarkand. I don't really want to spend the admin power on that right now, especially not when we can do this instead. Okay, so what else do we have? 50 admin power for all provinces in the Kobdo area being owned by us. So that would be Shun Mongolia. Okay. Manufactory in Shushtar. That's probably the most likely thing to happen here. So that would be right down over here. We'd need 494 total gold. That's not all that far out, of course. And there's those Karabaki separatists. We're already on our way there. Looks good. We'll ignore them. Excellent. They're going to be a rebellion eventually. And we may as well, as long as we're up here, take out these Armenian rebels. Like, we're in the area, right? So it seems absolutely fine. So we'll go take those out. Profiteering, yep, that looks good. We'll protect our trade, and we're going to... Both of these are occupied. Okay, we're going to take them back. Hmm, prestige and legitimacy? We're, we would overcap both of those here. Maybe we take the ducks, and we use those ducks in Shushtar to build that manufactory we need. Let's go. I like it. So that's absolutely great. We could impose a new religi a religious tax as well, and I think that's a good idea because we have very few provinces left that aren't converted. So that seems good. And we'll just take back these two locations, and then we'll head back down over here. Hasali's noble rebels down in Hasa. Okay. I mean, we don't have access through Ottomans, so Hasa's kind of stuck here. Like, we can't get to these. That's intriguing. As a hypothetical, yeah, we'd be breaking truce. There's a bunch of reconquest here. Indeed. Ethiopia is allied with them at this point. Ethiopia is, like, the only other power in this region at this point, right? I mean, Spain exists up over here, but... Ethiopia is actually reasonably strong. They're not scary, but they're reasonably strong. And so it's something to consider. We can't declare on the Ottomans right now, though. I don't want to break this truce. Absolutely under no circumstances do I want to do that. So we'll have to wait a bit. And that means that we just can't get to these rebels. But we'd absolutely love to get all of this territory over here and give that to Hassa. Beyond that, we'd like to take like this and give it to Iraq you know, reconquer some areas over there. Overall, who all do we have reconquest CBs for? So this is Hassa. This is Artabil. And that would be, I think, these cores over here? Yes. Okay. And then this is Servon. Is that Iraq? I'm not sure whose Wargle this is. This is an Armenian Wargle. Right, 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 right. Okay. So that would be Servon, which would be up over here. Gotcha. Okay, that seems reasonably fine. Of course, we're not going to declare this right now. We do want to take a look at province enhancements 
probably manufactories is what we're going to do. Yeah, we'll get that going. Looks, We can get a second one going. Hang on a moment. There we go. Perfect. France is planning to attack Trier. Okay. Ottomans have canceled the right to military access they've been generously, generously given by us. We gave them military access? I don't recall that. Okay. Well, they canceled it, so that's absolutely fine. They didn't need to. I don't know why they did that. No guy may not be able to come up here because they might be trapped in this stack down here. And indeed they are. So that means that we should go deal with this for them. Okay, we'll do that. That's fine. We're going to have to clean this up for sure. One thing we could think about doing is potentially looking to vassalize Mara. We own their core provinces. So we'd have to declare on them, which would mean we would need a navy. Oh, that's disgusting. Why would we want one of those? Ugh. Gross. Okay, we're just going to enable drilling over here, and we're just going to pretend that these guys don't exist. That's definitely how that works. Although it would be pretty optimal for us to take over Mara at this point. But, uh, yeah, we're not going to do that. Because that requires a navy, and navies are, like, work. Okay, so how are we doing up here? That's actually fine to stand there. We are taking attrition up here. That's not shocking. I'm going to send a couple of units out over this direction, though. Just to get all of No Guy taken back over for them real quick here. I want to select these guys. There we go. Cool. So that'll do for now. We're at our maximum manpower. Maybe we should make a navy. I mean, we should. We absolutely should make a navy, but... It's a navy, though. Okay, fine. I guess we'll do it, but only transports. Only transports. <laughs> okay, fantastic. So we're... This is this is not a great way to go about doing things. How many do we totally need? We need 53 transports here. Okay. We have a naval force limit of 16. Okay. We're going to build 10 transports. And then, like, six heavy ships? That would be ridiculous. We're not going to do that right now. I'm just going to build the 10, and we'll just have to preemptively move down here if we want to attack Mara. We just can't move during war, right? So, that it, it's going to be awkward. It's going to be very, very awkward. But we already knew that. That's not shocking. Okay, so no guy is taking back all of this territory. I want these guys to go back. Austria declared on Munich. We're fine with this. And we're just going to take back these territories. Excellent. There we go. Bengals so discontent in our population. That's very rude of them, but it's also not surprising. Our truce with Iraq is now over. And we definitely want to get Ardalan taken over here. We have a ways to go on that Arabian opinion. No doubt about that. So we can bring this up by another, like, 45, which is exactly the number that we need. Okay, that's convenient. That's awful convenient. Unfortunately, that does mean that's going to take a while, right? So that's going to be a thing. Over here, we are taking attrition up this way. So we could build a supply depot here. It'll cost 20 military power, but that will solve that problem. We'll have to rebuild that supply depot every, I think, five years. Yeah, five years. But 20 military power every five years is not a big deal. Do we have a supply limit increase in our next miltech? We have a combat width increase, but no supply limit increase. Okay, noted. We are 20 years ahead of time in military power, so that's going to be quite a thing. No doubt about that. So we're currently at minus five monthly diplomatic power. We're going to run out of dip power here soon enough. And my question is, which of these vassal annexations is the dip power going to go to that we end up generating? I want it to go to this one. That's going to be interesting. No doubt about that. Well, we could use dip power. Hmm. Skill 3 Statesman. The, the additional diplomatic reputation wouldn't be bad, but we do already have this guy here, so I don't think we need that. Sure, we'll take this then. Savoy entered a golden era. Good for them. 
And we are already on na our national focus being diplomatic power. Our stats are terrible for this, right? <laughs> There's no doubt about that. Serbia is planning to attack Bulgaria. I hope they have fun with that. We are about to run out of dip power. So that's definitely a thing. Lose 50 admin power or lose 10 legitimacy. We'll lose the admin power there, but I'm not happy about it. Our missionary is now unable to convert a province. Which province is that? This one. Okay. So we can just cancel that. It's unfortunate, but we're not able to convert that province at this time. So that's fine for the moment, but definitely ultimately sad. Okay, this is now cord. Looks good. We should be getting our other core quite soon. And I want to head up over here. Yeah, see, these guys are in the same position where our supply limit is kind of gross over here. Just barely, though. So, do we have anywhere up this direction that we can actually stand in? The answer is no. This is a 50% modifier, so I'm going to move these guys up over here. Defender of the Faith is ca is causing us this. Okay. Hmm. So this is against Spain. The Spanish Conquest of Palawan. I accept. And we're never going to show up. We have n literally no way to get there. Remember, we have no ships. And Palawan is out over here somewhere. So, uh, yeah, that's, that's not going to happen. Yeah, we literally can't go here. Okay, so there's literally no point. We could lose some legitimacy or some prestige here. Our legitimacy is a little bit higher, so we'll go that route. We're going to need to continue to drill all of these because we can't show up to that. We physically cannot go. We can build our supply depot out over here, though, so that's fine. Ottomans are uh, having some problems. That's not shocking. And Arabia is going to be finished up over here fairly soon. We're going to be ready to go there eventually. Now, we're at two diplomatic power. I'm wondering 500 ducats or two unrest. We'll take the unrest. Okay. Austria declared on Ottomans, citing holy war. Interestingly, the Ottomans didn't call us in on that. We're the defender of the faith. They could have. And we probably would help them on that one, actually. We don't really want Austria to continue to push in over here. The Ottomans are sufficiently weakened for our purposes. Aiden wants military access. We're going to decline that. Okay, we're finally starting to get some of our first boats over here. Great. There's Ardalan integrated. That is excellent. Absolutely phenomenal. Now, we should have some armies somewhere. Wait, we have access through Ottomans again? Oh, because they give access through Spain. Okay, cool. We like it. That's great. We're going to disband this unit. And I want to check in on how we're doing on our force limit. We're at the force limit. Okay, looks good. So we'll turn this territory into a state. I don't think we need to full core it. Indeed not. So that's looking good. Next up, we'd like to do more annexations. We're at plus four right now. Russia is threatening our trade. That's very rude of them. Karakoyunlu, we would like to annex Vassal, but we're at war right now, so we can't actually request that. Which is very sad. Very sad indeed. Of course, this war out over here, yeah, this is, this is going to be lost. We cannot get here. We can't help them. Why did they call us in? I don't know, but whatever. I suppose we technically could go there now because... We do have four transports, but they'll just Im instantly get sunk by Spain, right? That's that's not going to be a thing. I can tell you that at this exact moment. That is definitely not going to happen. How's our truce with Georgia looking? Still another six years on that. Okay. We need Arabia to be our vassal, and Syria, do we have a CB on them? We do not. So we should be currently building a spy network on Syria. Okay, so we're very, very close to being able to vassalize Arabia. We're going to have to pull back this diplomat because we are diplomat limited. But that should be maxing out our improved relations. Actually, this is improved somewhat, probably due to aggressive expansion. 
So at this point, we should pull back this guy and just offer them vassalization. There we go. And they did indeed become our vassal. We can make a state down over here as well. Consider that done, and that we can full core. Excellent. So, now that that's good to go, I'm going to start moving this army out over here. I'm wondering about supply limit. It's not great, but we can sit in Tikrit, and that'll be fine for the moment. We can make a state up over here. This will probably also need full cores. Yes. So we can get those going. Now, we're not planning to on needing to core Syria, because we're going to give it to Arabia. That's the idea here. Ottomans are, of course, being taken over by Austria. We knew that that was going to happen. And Syria does have some forces of their own. 27k. That's not very much. But they do have some. The Ulema are losing power. Good for them. We do have a free advisor slot. Admin power here. National tax modifier. Would this guy pay for himself? Probably not. Actually, he would. Okay, we'll take that. Phenomenal. So plus 27 at this point. What else can we put funds into? <laughs> not really all that much other than like building investments, right? So we can ha hop down and get some manufactories going. Although we probably need workshops or at least a workshop. Yeah, that's reasonably fine for the time being. And then we'll build another manufactory. Looks great. Okay, so we're going to be declaring on Syria quite soon here. I'm actually kind of shocked that this war isn't over yet. But we have no way to get there, so we're just ignoring it. It's fine. Ottoman Separatists down over here? Yes, we like that. We absolutely like that. So that looks great. At this point, we're going to move down into Arabia. Yeah, the supply limit there is going to be grim. We could build a resource encampment there. But our spy network is almost done. And we'll only use this for a couple months. We've got plenty of manpower. So I'm not going to do that right now. Georgia is requesting military access through us. Hilarious. Attacking Crimea. Okay. And the papal state wants access. No, nobody gets access. Get out of here. We've got Mari Separatists down over this way. That's mildly obnoxious. We're going to need to move an army down there at some point. So let's get these guys heading down to Josk. And we're going to have to get this army slowly, very slowly, transported. Unless our vassal is going to handle this. Of course, we could just walk through Ottomans at this point. Can we walk through Mara? Yes. We can just walk there. Okay. <laughs> That's fine. So we'll just walk there. Looks good. Is Syria at war? No, they're just kind of running around. They're allied with Hadramut in Egypt. Okay, so Hadramut is right over here. And of course, Egypt is quasi-powerful, but we're not really expecting much for problems from them. We could give this territory of theirs to Hassa. Otherwise, we're not too interested in anything Egypt has. Yeah, that seems reasonably fine. So we'll just wait for this army to get into position down here. We're still waiting on our spy network here. We did just lose a general. That was this one. Let's get a new general from our emirs so we can grant generalship. There we go. And that'll be this fine gentleman here. He's actually a very good general. Okay, looks solid. So we're just going to pass on through over here and get this all taken care of. No problem at all. These guys have occupied here. Well, that's rude. Could you not? I would prefer it if you'd go up over here. <laughs> that would be nice. We can declare our war on Syria at any time now, though. So I think we should probably do that. Has no possible neighboring provinces to fabricate a claim on. Right. But we have CBs. It's Arabian war goal. To take... Do they have a claim on all of this? I think Arabia has a claim on all of this. That's very convenient. Yeah. Beautiful. 
That's exactly what we want to do. So, sure. We can declare this war. We can declare it on Hadramut and Egypt. We can pull this diplomat back. So, Hadramut and Egypt. Yes. Do we want to co-belligerent any of these? We cannot co-belligerent Hadramut. We could Egypt, but they're allied with a bunch of people. I don't think there's a point. We're really only interested in these, what is this, two provinces? Three provinces from Egypt. So that seems okay. We confirm this. No, those units are not needed for war, in fact. We can keep these drilling, so these two retain their drilling situation. And this army is going to move in and attack Syria. Beautiful. Yes, Hassa, this looks good. We want Hassa to control these. Do they have claims? No is the answer, but that's fine. They don't need claims. So that all looks absolutely okay. Oh, they're actually running away. Sure. Enlarge the university, huh? Or gain a free stability. That was very expensive. So we're going to gain the free stability. Fantastic. And we just got a cash infusion to boot. This is Hadramut's army over here. So I'd like to knock Hadramut out of the war. If we can vassalize them, I would love to do so. I kind of doubt if we could. Uh, let's see here. Treaties. Directly Hadramut. Oh, this is an offer tribute. Hang on. Yeah, 249%. So really, we don't want anything out of Hadramut at this time. We can't core anything over here. We don't have any... We don't have anybody that can utilize this territory effectively. Yeah, the Spanish conquest of Palawan is ending. No shockers there. And I want to continue to take over Syria. This should be flipped over to Arabia, though. So we want to go to Arabia here. There we go. And this is going to be up here, return core, right? So this is going to be just like return core over here. So we don't want these to go to Ottomans necessarily. But yeah, it'll be something like that. So ultimately, we can't return all of this this war, unfortunately. But we could do something like this. Although it might be able to do it when these are all held by... Yeah, that might actually change things. When this is all held by Arabia. That might change things because they hold a core there. So we'll keep an eye on that situation. We do see them attacking up over here, attacking Hassa. That's fine. I just want to knock Hadramut out of this war. We'll get some gold out of them, I think. And that'll be completely okay. Jampur has entered a golden era. Good for them. That seems reasonably fine. And we're going to let our vassals deal with this, I think. That also seems reasonably fine. So I want to knock Hadramut out of this war. They're not currently interested in that, but I think once we take their capital, they likely will be. And of course, Syria is going to need to be knocked out of this war, but they're the primary war. Uzbek pretender rebels are actually instantly being dealt with, so no problem over there. There is quite a large stack of troops over here in Hassa, but I'm not too concerned about that, all things considered. We've got way more troops. It should be fine. This needs to get flipped over to Arabia. And this needs to get flipped over to Arabia. There we go. We won this siege. That, of course, gets flipped over to Arabia. There we go. Okay, this is still more than 100% of war score. We'll keep an eye on that. Hopefully, we'll be able to fully occupy them. But I'm not 100% con convinced that we'll be able to. If we have to do the Georgia thing, we'll do the Georgia thing. But I want to knock Hadramut out of this war ASAP. That is the current primary goal. Beautiful. So at this point, we're going to head down here. Uzbek has embraced manufactories. Good job, Uzbek. And we are going to flip this over to Arabia. The Siege of Najran is now over. Okay. So let's see if at this point Hadramut is okay with exiting this war. They'll accept a white piece. And they'll pay us to leave the war too. So that seems good. We don't care about anything from Hadramut. We'll just take their cash. Then, of course, we're going to head up over this direction and defend the Hassa territories. That'll be fine for the moment. Syria is nearly fully under control, and we know exactly what we want from Egypt. So we need Syria to be finished up here. We completed our estate agenda. They sieged Baghdad. That's fine. Wait, is Egypt not in this? They are. We're black flagged. Why are we black flagged? I guess we lost our access through Ottomans. Interesting. 
Will we get unblack flagged if we go to a to this territory? Yes, we will. Okay, beautiful. That is exactly what we want then. So we'll do that, and we're just going to hop down here. We want to grab just these three provinces from Egypt. No, we do have access through the Ottomans. We got black flat because we were in Hadramut when we pieced them out. That's why, of course. And we are occupying a lot of Egypt down over here. That's actually really good. We're very happy about that. Just about got Syria fully occupied here. And this is, of course, going to get flipped over to Hassa. There we go. We want Hassa to get this territory. We're not actually taking any territory ourselves in this war. This is all about our vassals. So we are at this point ready for this army to, I guess, come take back this Hasselese territory. That'll be okay. At this point, is Egypt okay with our terms? Yes, they are. Who would be angry? Ottomans and Georgia. We don't care. So that is absolutely fine. We'll send this demand. That'll get Egypt out of the war. There we go. So that's some additional territory for Hassa. Wonderful. And now we just need this Syrian siege to end. And it's very, very close. So I want to bring these guys up over here, get them back to our territory before we end this war. There we go. We're at 42%. And we succeed. Phenomenal. So we'll flip that over to Arabia. And then I want to bring these guys back home. Now the question is... Can we get away with taking all of this? We get one additional province. Okay. And technically, they wouldn't accept this right now. Okay. Whatever. I mean, we're going to walk over here. That's the Syrian army there. And we can take back this territory that they currently have occupied, right? It's not a problem. An enemy invasion is imminent down over here. Spain is invading us? Why? What are you doing, Spain? <laughs> <laughs> they don't want a white piece either. Okay. I don't know why Spain has decided to attack us. We really have nothing to do with this war. It's all occupied by Portugal right now. I guess, do they need additional war score to actually take anything? They shouldn't. Oh, I guess we're the war leader. They would need more war score then. You know what? Let's... Offer tribute. And we can't just offer them these. Suggest offer. War reps. And gold. Huh. So we can't give them this territory over here? Oh, we would be merely negotiating for ourselves. Aren't we the war leader? Hang on. Oh, this is our war. We're not the war leader. Okay. Well, in that case, we just kind of don't care. Yeah, we just kind of don't care. We could turn these guys around, I suppose. And go fight Spain down here. Sure, let's get this capped, and we'll go fight Spain. Okay, so we're going to head down over here, then. It's going to be an awkward walk. But it seems fine. And then we're going to come up here and fight the Syrian army. Hopefully we get this cap back shortly. Yes, we do. Phenomenal. So we win that battle. Our influence over Iraq has ended, but that's fine. So unconditional surrender now, and we cannot take this one province, sadly. But what we can do is get something like this. 32 gold. Get all of this territory. Ottomans, Syria, Lebanon, Egypt, Georgia, Hadramut, Mara, and Aden. Do we care about any of that? Not really, to be honest. So this is all currently seeding that. I would love it if we could just return the core, but unfortunately we can't. Okay, so we're just going to send that for now. That's a lot of aggressive expansion, but it'll be fine. So Arabia is now much, much, much stronger. Phenomenal. Everybody hates us, of course, and that's to be expected. We can walk up over here and deal with these separatists that are walking into Iraq. But we kind of don't want to, to be honest. Ottomans entered into a military coalition against us. We don't really care about the Ottomans, though. So that's fine. It is, however, well past time to put a cut in here. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And next episode, we're going to go deal with this Spanish incursion down over here. We would like to uh, kick the, Sp the Spaniards out of here and just get out of this war. 
We'd like it if the war would just end, but we need to defend this area. You can leave your offerings to the engagement gods in the form of likes, comments, subscribes, and bell ringings, and a very special thank you to all of the channel members for making this video possible, including ALS Gamer, Shadow Wolf, Andy McGar, Upper Cumberland Gamers, Nick Smarty, Dimitri H, Punching the Microphone, Soccerman 12 UK, Kentogan, and all the rest. And of course, you. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to support the channel, you can click the join button down below the video, and as always, I will see you all next time.